you know, I have I have said some things about the the Fed, but I've also don't like a guy known as, as Fred too. There's a Fred that I'm not comfortable <laughs> with, so he's not entirely wrong in, in making that, that statement. Uh, it's great to be here at the uh, very first one of these, I believe, um, the Liberty Political Action Conference. So thank you for including me. It's nice to be here with you guys today. It is. Uh, uh, nice to inform you that the Campaign for Liberty has over half a million members and it is growing strong. And, uh, yeah. and uh, the Campaign for Liberty has been tremendous in, in calling for an audit on the Fed, which uh, is great. And that is how I first uh, made the acquaintance. I called Dr. Paul and, uh, and uh, I think he was a little surprised to, to think that I was calling him, but I was just impressed with his uh, uh, talking points on that subject and his willingness to get out there and really keep beating that drum. So I, I thank him for that. Um, Dr. Paul was born in uh, Pennsylvania. He married his high school sweetheart, Carol. They have five kids and 18 grandkids. So he had some other interests other than politics along the way. Um, he has delivered over 4,000 babies as an OBGYN, written a lot of books. And you know, people get into politics for many reasons but primarily for self-promotion. Um, Dr. Paul has been involved in politics because he has something very important and meaningful to say, and he has devoted himself to spreading that message, which is very rare. Um, his philosophies are consistent. They do not waver based on political polls or public opinion. His principles are based in fact and logic, which is routed and rooted in the very foundation of America. We're all very lucky to have a voice like his out there, and we need to have more out there that are like his. It is my great honor tonight to present to you Dr. Ron Paul. Very big thanks to Vince for coming and uh, being part of us and part of the Liberty Movement. I'm so glad that he's here. 